if you couldn't afford uh, an illustrator or a brand designer or a game asset artist before, or even copywriter, like you, you can get some part of the way there today with generative AI um, at a fraction of the cost. Startups that figure out how to pass back some of that value to their customers in their pricing or the way they offer their, you know, their um, products will have a huge advantage, right? Uh, I, I think one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest opportunities here is if you can help your customers either expand their offering set or change their cost structure, right? Because most, there's a lot of software out there that is kind of a nice to have versus like attacking directly one of these things. And so I, I do think that's a big opportunity for these AI enabled companies. Um, the second thing that I, I'd mention is just scale, right? Um, so uh, what did you not do before because it was too expensive to do? Right. And, and so um, an example of that might be, let's just take again, like portfolio companies. An example might be, uh, I'm a individual creator and I, um, I'm an individual creator and I had a blog, but I was never going to hire a voice actor. Right. But if I, uh, work with a company that generates that today, like element, uh, element T, then all of a sudden I have a podcast, right. Or I can do videos that are explainer videos. Uh, if I, um, don't want to be, can't do that production today. Um, or if, you know, at scale, it's, if I'm a publisher, I can suddenly have audio for every, every part of my back catalog. Right. So I think some of these new capabilities, um, they really expand, um, usage of some of these services yeah. to both new audiences yeah. and to penetration in companies that were doing something analogous prior. Yeah. I really like that. I think we, we met with a startup that was doing AI generative support of the college admissions consulting process. You can imagine the addressable market of that is like limited to those that could afford it. And if you can make that more cost effective, the addressable market expands abundantly and it really sort of flattens that access to the top institutions.